with communication skills, it's not just about explaining yourself. It's also about knowing who not to explain yourself to. Because everyone is going to have an opinion. And whenever people have opinions, you can't just say, well, uh, let me just explain myself to everyone because it's going to be a waste of time. One example of this was with Steve Jobs. I was talking to my brother recently and I asked him, what do you know Steve Jobs for? He said, for Apple. I said, okay, um, do you know him for anything else? He said, not really. I responded, did you know that he was the CEO of Pixar? He actually became a billionaire through Pixar, not Apple. And my brother was shocked. He couldn't believe it. Wait, how did I never know this? I always knew him as the guy who did Apple. And when Steve Jobs did Apple, it was a gift and a curse. The gift was, I don't know if you know this, but he actually got fired from his own company. When he got fired, he ended up getting a lot of money. That was the gift. He got a lot of money. The curse was he was known as this icon for technology. So people only expected him to do technology-related work. By the time that he bought Apple from George Lucas's um, uh, ownership, excuse me, when he bought Pixar, I don't know if I said Apple, when he bought Pixar, he was viewing that as a computer company. He wanted to take what he did with Apple and make it into the same thing for Pixar. It was going to be a technology company, a technology company that could create animations. There was another guy. His name was John Lasseter. John Lasseter kept telling Steve, no, Steve, we are not a technology company. We are a storytelling company. These computers, they're not the essence of what we do. These computers, they are simply glorified pencils. John Lasseter was the engine. He was this guy who had the mission, and he kept hammering it home to Steve Jobs until one day, Steve Jobs just understood. When he saw Toy Story for the first time, he realized, oh my God, I'm not even looking at the amazing quality of Toy Story. I'm captivated by the story. I feel immersed in the story. And he realized that it was a storytelling company. When he realized that it was a storytelling company, he understood it, but other people didn't. Other people thought, come on, Steve. I mean, how come you're not marketing it as a technology company more? And people kept asking him that because that's what Steve Jobs was known for. He was known as the tech guy. And suddenly, he's over here building a media company. It made no sense. Steve understood that he can't explain himself to everyone. If he is, what's going to What's going to happen? He's never going to be able to do his mission. So he learned the art of not explaining himself or just giving the basic essentials. You should watch this interview that Steve Jobs, Charlie Rose, and John Lasseter did together. And you will see that there are plenty of occasions where Steve can say more, but he's choosing not to. Charlie Rose is very ignorant on the field. With all the respect to him, he's very ignorant on what Steve is trying to do back then. And Steve understands this. So he's saying, you know what? I'm not going to give you too much information. I'll just give you the basic stuff that you need to know. Other than that, think whatever you want.